we're gonna make a hopper. This is Charlie's hopper I learned from Charlie himself. So we're gonna take a hook. You got this piece of foam and it should be at the diameter of the hook gap. Pretty close. So I'm just gonna put it in here. About like so. Then you can put it in the vise. So I have the long piece away from me because that way it'll be out of the way. Right. So we have tie in our thread. Far back as we can, I guess. Snip it off. Okay, now we'll just bring that forward now. And then bring your piece of foam forward. So, what we're going to do is make a, a hole right here where this eye of this hook is. See where that eye of the hook is? We're just going to make a hole. And I'm just going to use my scissors because I have a pretty good pair of scissors. Poke that through and then just poke it to where you can poke the eye in. And you got the hook shank right here and here. You can pull this back. Now, you need some super glue. Any kind of super glue. If you can get the lid off of any. Which, I'll use this stuff. This is super hard to get out. Oh, I guess not. Glue that right there. So you can push them together. So we're going to push them together and kind of push it and hold it at an angle. Kind of like that. Hold it together. A little bit so that it will stick. Let's see. I don't want any gaps. There's a gap over here. I'm trying to get out. Let's see here. Get this over here. A little extra glue off of there. Pretty good. All right. Now we got that good and done. Make sure that it's level on the there. Pretty level. So what we're gonna do next is. I have this kind of at an angle. You need your razor blade. You got your razor blade here. Any old flat razor blade will do. The sharper the better. So I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm just gonna not very far up the hook shank. But like that, I'm just going to cut it straight off the back, just like that. Now, we're going to start making these bodies into sections. I'm going to wrap and I'm going to snug. And every time I go around, I'm going to snug it just a little bit more. Then I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to make another, another 
body section. And I'm gonna make one more here. Beautiful. All right. Now, that's what it looks like underneath. Kind of go underneath. Now we got three sections, and I'm going to tie in some legs. So actually, I'm going to kind of back up here so that I can put in some legs before I tie in his wing. So I find it easiest if you just bring the leg around the thread and then you can place it right exactly where you want it and then when you put in the other leg you do the exact same thing put it around the thread and you can place it exactly on the other side here we go oh. Messed up. Imagine that. Right, now let's try it again. Right there. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to bring it up here to this next section. And I'm going to catch the leg up here. Actually, I'm going to bring it up to the very first section and catch the leg up here. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with this other leg. So I'm almost going to turn it upside down. There, caught it. There. I'm going to wrap in the middle there so it looks like I got a section. I'm just going to bring these two wing legs back. And kind of catch them so they stay back. Maybe. Or maybe not. Anyways, you can put your legs on there any old how you want. Dear body for the wing. I've already stacked it. Pull them out. So we're going to have it about that length of the body. One loose wrap and then another snug wrap. One more snug wrap. Every time you go around, snug it a little more. to cut this. I should have cut it before, but I didn't. I messed up, but you're always going to make mistakes. There. That's pretty good. I'm going to whip finish it. I'm going to whip finish it right through the deer. I'm 
My little leg got caught in that whip finish, so it's not standing up right. leg longer in the back what I should have done is tied a knot in the back when you tie a knot in the back then it looks like more of a realistic leg so that's not exactly how he would die, but it's a pretty good one. Uh, next, I just wanted to cut this off. This is where the eyes would go. Okay, now I'm going to put in the little eye. There. Now I can see. That's a hopper. <laughs>